all roads lead to Rome. Ciao ragazzi and welcome to my channel. I'm Anna Goldman and today, oggi, we are in Roma and I really want to share with you those 15 things. 15 should never, never ever do when you're coming to Rome. When you're in Rome, act like Romans do, number one, and don't wear high heels when you're in Rome. It's a well-known fact that the majority of streets in Rome city center are paved with an ancient and famous cobblestone called San Petrini. That's why, guys, I highly recommend you taking your most comfortable club shoes. Number two, and never ever cross the roads in Rome without looking both ways. Whether you are near the traffic light with a green signal for pedestrians or at pedestrian crossing, always pay attention to vehicles coming from both directions. Which brings us to point number three. Never underestimate the traffic in Rome. Romans tend to be always in a hurry and far not very famous for being passionate while driving. This is not an excuse for sure, but just my advice, always be cautious. Number four, my advice, don't go far away from city center of Rome or far away from typical tourist routes, unless you're with the locals who know the city quite well. Number five, and definitely never use your car in Rome. In other words, don't drive in Rome. New prohibitions, one-way street, closed or interrupted roads are the order of the day and often devoid of any logical foundation, not to mention parking and restricted traffic zones. And paraphrasing a great poet Dante, abandon your car, all you who enter. Number six, and don't limit yourself to historic center alone. Rome is so diverse and so to speak multi-layered city that offers its peculiarities far and wide throughout its urban fabric. One of the examples I would suggest is the historic and vibrant Garbatella neighborhood. Another amazing option could be a stroll in the elegant and distinctive Copede neighborhood. Number seven, and do not improvise your itinerary and don't wander aimlessly. I would recommend you carefully plan your itinerary, especially if it's your first ever visit to Rome. And if you really want to plan the best possible holiday in your life, well guys, you can always check my guide, which I created specially for you and it contains only of the best places to visit and to eat, try the best local food. It's gonna be in the description to this video. Please go and get it and I promise you're gonna have most pleasant and truly unforgettable trip to Rome. Let's go out guys and I'm gonna give you some gastronomical hints or things related to fate you should never ever do when you're in Rome. Number eight, I don't eat near monuments or main squares. There is a specific ordinance inch issued by municipality of Rome that expressly prohibits consuming food near sites of interest or the monuments. One of the most targeted places in this regard until a few years ago were well, the steps of the Spanish steps or Piazza de Spagna. It's not a pleasant sign to see this postcard-like view submerged with litter, leftovers of food, chewing gum, cup cigarette butts or any other kind of waste. Be aware that but you can be at risk of paying quite a high fee if you're eating or drinking or sitting on the Spanish steps. Number nine, never ever order your pasta carbonara with any appropriate ingredients. That authentic carbonara is one of the key dishes of Roman cuisine and it involves the use of a few and very simple ingredients. Of course, this pasta, eggs, guanciale, it's good pork chick, it's not pancetta. You never use pancetta or any bacon when you cook Roman pasta carbonara. Picorino Romano cheese and black pepper. Not to give a clear heart attack to your waiters in Rome, please forget about asking any crazy additional ingredients for your pasta carbonara like mushrooms or cream cheese, onions, garlic, parsley and so on. Please, no, don't, don't order them. It doesn't work this way. The carbonara in Rome is sacred. Same as Coliseo. <laughs> I will repeat myself for 101th 
time, but still don't order your cappuccino in Rome or anywhere in Italy afternoon. The cappuccino in Rome as well as throughout Italy comes for breakfast only. Before noon, cappuccino in Rome typically accompanies a good cornetto or any other traditional Roman Italian pastry. Try it to believe it. Okay, finished my breakfast. It's time to work there. And if you want to ask me how about that coffee the Italians tend to have after their dinner. Guys, it might be only two options here. Most probably it's espresso, coffee with no milk, or macchiato. It's espresso with a little, little dash of milk. Now let's discuss a few tips for safety and social behavior in Rome. And right away, please don't bathe in any fontaine in Rome. Even though Rome can reach a very high temperatures, especially during summer months, I strongly advise you strictly against immersing yourself or taking a foot bath in any of those numerous fountains you will come across while you're walking around Rome. Number next, and never enter any churches in skimpy clothing and do not walk around the city, especially in Rome, shortless or topless. Besides really nasty sunburns, you will get a very nasty and very high fine. <music> Number 13, and please don't toss your coins in every or any fontaine in Rome rather than Fontana di Trevi. Many people believe that tossing their coins in every of more than 2,000 fontaines here in Rome is a tradition or a gesture of a good luck. Can you just bring them to me, please? It will really help my channel to develop even more. But for now, if you don't want to bring more than 2,000 euros to me, okay, I'll be happy with that like and smash that like button. Consider subscribing to this channel. I love you lots. Thank you so much. Anyway, getting back to tossing coins in every fontaine in Rome, nothing can be further from the truth than this. Number 14, and don't casually photograph the gladiators, legionaries and centurions. You will come across those people dressed like Forum Roman gladiators in those period costumes, of course. I totally understand you. Who wouldn't want to have such a picture to memorize such a fantastic trip to Rome? But I highly advise you to agree on the fee in advance. No, they are not there for free just to entertain you. No. Number 15, it's last but far not least, and so true, guys. Believe me, learn from my own mistakes. Never talk to a Romanista about Lazio and to a Laziale about Roma. Remember, football or culture in Rome, it's not just a sport, it's philosophy for many Romans. So really be careful here not to pick the wrong side. Because whether it's Roma or Lazio, your team is sacred. And you are sacred for me. Thank you so much for watching. Before I let you go, some bonus, bonus section for you guys. Absolutely forbidden food crimes against Italian humanity. So when you're in Italy, anywhere, please don't. Never, ever do those things. Especially if you're dating an Italian girl or Italian boy. No. You will be out of the family right away. You can try if you want. Number one, and remember, never ever, under any circumstances, cut your pasta with a knife. Number two, and don't ask the waiter to cut your pizza. Guys, you're not a kid, so you are more than capable to cut your pizza yourself. Number three, really important one, listen up. Things like pizza with pineapple, pizza with chicken, pasta with meatballs, or fettuccine Alfredo. Guys, those things, those animals do not exist in Italy. Really, don't embarrass yourself. And number four, dinner and cappuccino. You cannot put these two words in one sentence in Italy. Grazie mille ragazze. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think, which one of 15 facts was the craziest for you. Please let me know in the comments down below. By the way, are you planning to come to Rome? When? Is it your first time in Rome? Do you have any questions about it? You know exactly what to do? Comment section down below. And for now, I love you so much. Ci vediamo ragazze. Stay safe, be happy, and as our tradition goes, I will see you next week. Ciao ragazzi, ci vediamo. A presto. Bye for now. Bye.